All right, welcome to this video. My name is Taylor Benchard, and we're gonna be going over the invisible Grim Reaper inside every agency owner's heart. Now, this is gonna be a lot different video. In the previous videos I've done, I've talked a little bit more in depth uh, and specific things, but this is gonna be a little bit more zoomed out, and it's gonna be especially important for you if for some reason your agency has been stuck at the same level for a certain period of time, uh, typically a longer period of time that you are not quite satisfied with and you can't really figure out why your agency can't get to the next level uh, and you, you you know in this particular situation it's likely not something to do with your lead gen system it's probably something to do with something more personal to do with you that is invisible that no one else can see except you and this is the ultimate thing that kills most agency owners over time it usually doesn't happen immediately because most agency owners take care of the most important things but they forget the things that have delayed feedback that eventually kills them over time. So let's talk about this. What is this invisible Grim Reaper? It is standards. Now that might sound a bit weird. Why are standards invisible? And you know, how, why, like, why is it a Grim Reaper? Well, I mean, it should be kind of simple and obvious why it's a Grim Reaper. It's because if you lower your standards with certain things like sales or doing mindset or eating healthy, going to the gym, uh, hitting marketing KPIs, checking quality of work to clients. These are things that are gonna drastically affect your agency in such a way where it's usually gonna be a negative way. And the other thing is that uh, these standards, when dropped, can only be seen by you, all right? So why, why is that? Why are standards invisible to anybody else? Well, think about it. In your business, in your agency, let's say you've got three or four or five employees, it doesn't matter. All right, you are not an employee. You are the business owner. Therefore, your standards are not being held accountable by anybody else. You are your own boss. You're the, you're the founder, the owner, the driver of the agency. And there's nobody that's watching over you saying, hey, why didn't you come into work today on time? Saying, hey, you know, wh why aren't you going to the gym? This is an important thing to make sure that you're, you're, you're focused and you have clarity in your work. You have energy and, and you know, more energy to work. And you know nobody's gonna be holding you accountable for any of these things because you are not an employee, you are the owner of the agency. And this is something that took me a long time to realize, a long time to figure out, but once I figured it out, my whole business changed, my whole life drastically changed, and I was, very, I was a lot happier because of it, okay? And the only way to, tra to, to, to you know, measure these things is by tracking them, which we'll get into that in just a second. But let me just elaborate a little bit more on this. If you are married, if you have a spouse, or maybe even a business partner, you know, a business partner may hold you accountable for certain things, but they will certainly not hold you accountable for things like doing mindset, reading, going to the gym. Uh, they won't even know if you're spending time on social media because maybe you're, you're working digitally, maybe you're, you are in Hong Kong and your partner's in America, or you guys aren't just in an office all day next to each other. You know, if you're running a digital agency, like, <laughs> Any one of your employees could be going on social media, not going to the gym, not reading, and nobody would be able to hold them accountable for it. Even in an office space setting where you're in-house working in the office with somebody, uh, they're not gonna be able to track you every single second. So there's a lot of different things where they are invisible, and most of the things I've stated here are invisible. No one can see them except you. And you, your level of standards are basically relative to what you want and your own standards, right? Nobody decides your standards except for you. And there's certain, there's, it's not black or white, there's certain uh, things that contradict what I just said, which we'll get into. But it's important to note that there are delayed uh, feedback and rapid instant feedback. So something like mindset or reading or not going to the gym or spending more time on social media. Like you could spend, uh, you, could, you could not go to the gym for two, three months, your agency won't die because of it, right? This is something that's not gonna kill your agency right away. Matter of fact, you could probably stop going to the gym for a year and your agency might still be alive. But I'm gonna tell you something. After a year, let alone three months of not going to the gym, this thing is gonna start killing your agency day after day after day because your, your, your energy levels are not what they used to be. You're not able to, to work as much. You're not able to, to be as efficient as you used to be. And this, this starts to compound over time and maybe one to two years because of this, not doing this, your agency will die. And you may not see it today, you, may, you will definitely not see it tomorrow, but one to two years from now, you're gonna die, and that's gonna be because of something like this. And it's very difficult to see because it has delayed feedback, okay? Not doing mindset, not meditating daily. Again, things that 
you know, typically you're, it's not going to kill your agency. Some people don't even do these things. Um, and not reading, it's not going to kill your agency if you stop reading for a year. But I can tell you something, in the long run, you will die and you will be nowhere near as successful as you could have been if you were to be doing this on a daily basis. So these are all things like waking up late, okay? It's not going to kill you right away. But if you do this for a year straight, you can sure as hell bet that your agency is going to die a lot faster than it would be if you were waking up on time, consistently getting seven to eight hours of sleep every single night. And I recommend eight. So here's something that's different. Here's something that'll kill you almost instantly. And most agency owners got these things under control because they know that it's going to kill them instantly. But honestly, not, I would say not even most. I would say uh, some have it under control. Not hitting marketing KPIs. All right, first of all, most agencies don't even have KPIs for their marketing. They don't even really know. They don't even have a lead gen system. I've talked to every agency owner in lead gen enlightened that came in lead gen enlightened was primarily dependent on referrals to get clients. And they were all doing between 10 to, well, not all, but 80% of them have been doing between 10 to 30 or $40,000 per month. Okay, they're all five to six figure agency owners and most of them are dependent on referrals. They didn't really have a marketing system, let alone, they, if, they don't, if you don't even have a marketing system, you don't even have KPIs. But if you do have a marketing system and you're running that system daily, even if you don't really know what it is, but you lower your standards and you stop doing whatever you were doing that was helping you get clients, such as maybe it was running Facebook ads, maybe it was posting daily on social media, maybe it was uh, 50 cold emails per day, 50 cold calls per day, maybe it was uh, weekly you know, emails to your list that you're building through people that opt in on your website, blog posts, YouTube videos, whatever it might be, inbound or outbound, if you lower your standards on the amount of inbound or outbound uh, you know, inputs that you put in and you lower your standards, this thing is gonna kill you and it's gonna happen very quickly because if you are not hitting your KPIs and you're not putting uh, content out daily or you're not uh, you know, sending out emails daily or you're not uh, contacting prospects daily, you're, you're, you're not gonna be able to sign as many clients and your business's revenue is rapidly gonna decline because of it. So this, this thing here has rapid, very instant feedback and this will kill you very quickly in a matter of 30 to 60 days if you stop doing this or if you lower your standards. Again, the, the lower your standards go, the faster this thing kills you, okay? Uh, something like not checking quality of work, again, rapid, instant feedback. If you're not holding your employees accountable for delivering quality, for delivering deliverables in a quality uh, standard, you know, and for some reason they're launching campaigns or they're delivering shit work that is not that great, that's not getting the clients the results that they wanted to because you're not checking up on the employees anymore, this is gonna rapidly kill your agency, you're gonna lose clients very quickly, projects are not gonna get fulfilled, margins are gonna deteriorate very rapidly, and you're gonna absolutely get killed in a very, very short period of time. So. There are things that are that have delayed feedback and there are things that have rapid instant feedback, but it's important to note that there, these standards are predominantly invisible. You can only see them and some of them have delayed feedback, some of them have instant feedback. And now that you know all of that, let's get into the laws of standards, how you can manage these things, be aware of problems and prevent your, yourself from, from lowering your standards, all right? Now here's the thing to understand about standards, okay? First of all, the first law of understanding standards is that there are ebbs and flows. What does this mean? So ebbs and flows looks like this. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down, and there's a top and there's a low, and it stays consistently within that top and within that low, all right? And it just goes like that in a wave format. Ebbs and flows basically means like the ocean, the tide coming in and the tide going out, and it consistently does this, in and out, in and out to the same, uh, to the same levels, uh, top, bottom, same levels. It doesn't. It basically just goes like this, perfectly in a in a parallel line. And there's 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 tops like that. There's a top level and there's a bottom level. And you can call this like a plateau. It's almost like fluctuating within a plateau, within two certain levels. This is what uh, standards do. Standards typically fluctuate between a high standard and a low standard. All right. So let me give you an example of this. Uh, a very easy one to do is the bank account. Your, your personal body weight. These are ex good examples to give ebbs and flows for. So for myself personally, in the first year of running my agency, um, we did, I think it was like 140, 160,000 in sales. It wasn't a lot, but I was about 19 years old. It was the first year. And in the first year we did six figures, which was all right. Um, and the thing that, that, that was very interesting to me looking back is that whenever I got about $20,000 in my bank account, I would suddenly just start spending money like crazy. I don't even know what it was on. When I look back through my financials, it was like courses, 
softwares, uh, hiring people I didn't really need, uh, lots of different stupid crap, clothes, um, ridiculous things that I didn't really need uh, that were not really helping my business grow that much or as much as it could be and if, if I would have invested the money in other things. But then what would happen is I would, I would get about $20,000 in my bank account, I would spend like, like ten or $15,000 in a matter of a few weeks somehow, and then I'd be left with like $5,000 in my bank account. Now, keep in mind, in the first year of running my agency, I was living in my parents' house, so you know, only having $5,000 in my bank account wasn't really a big deal. It was still way more money than I'd ever had in my entire life because I was like 19 years old. Uh, having 20,000 in my bank account felt like I was a millionaire because, you know, it's, it's a lot of money for like being 19, let alone making, you know, a six figure income. So uh, I would, then I would get to like $5,000 in my bank account and I would freak out. I'd be like, whoa, this is way too, this is way too low. I'm going to run out of money. If I run out of money, I won't be able to pay my employees. If I can't pay my employees, my whole business is going to die and then I'm not going to have any money to live the life that I want to live. And I would freak out and then I would get to work and I would work 14 hours a day for like a month straight and then I would burn out. But in doing that 14 hours a day for a month straight, I would get my bank account back up to $20,000. I would sign a couple clients. I would cut, down, cut out softwares. I would cut out uh, ridiculous spending on clothes and other bullshit. And I would get my bank account back up to 20,000. And then I would drop it down to 5K and then I'd go back up to 20K. And it was ridiculous. I, I kid you not, for the first year in my agency, although we made about 100, 160,000 um, in that year, at the end of the year, I was only left with like 10 to $15,000 in my bank account because I was fluctuating and I didn't understand this, what I'm talking to you about right now. And so my standard, my personal standard in that first year of running my agency, my highest standard for, for myself was $20,000. That was like, all right, I've, I've made it. I got a lot of money in my bank account. My lowest standard where I would panic and I would freak out was $5,000, all right? And what I didn't know at that time was that First of all, I didn't, I didn't even know that standards have ebbs and flows, all right? If I would have been aware of this in like month three, or if I would just would have been aware of this in the beginning, I wouldn't have been spending money like crazy. And the thing about this is that this is not a good thing because it's never going up. There's highs and there's lows. So what you gotta do is you gotta raise your standard, okay? Your lowest standard of self. So what I should have done in month three of running my agency was like, all right, look, my bare minimum is $10,000 per month. Once I hit 10,000, sorry, $10,000 in my bank account. Once I hit 10K in my bank account, I'm raising that to 15. Once I hit 15, I'm raising that to 20, to 20 excuse me. Once I hit 20, I'm raising that to 25. And I'm co constantly, excuse me, raising my lowest standard for myself for my bank account. This is just one dimension. This is just one aspect of life, right? There's tons of different aspects, right? Such as waking up on time, uh, my body weight, reading daily, etc. all these things. But another example of this is like my body weight. So a good healthy body weight for me is about 160 pounds. Uh, I don't know my body fat percentage, but I know that like I feel really energetic and good if I work out four times per week. And if I do that uh, with the certain intensity of my workouts that I have a personal trainer now, I'll weigh about 160 pounds, all right? But if I get to 170 pounds, like this is my lowest standard for myself, and it, this is, I've never actually had this, I've always been around 160 pounds, but this is just an example. Um, if I got to 175 pounds, my cheeks would be chubby, uh, my, my belly would be coming out like I would look like I'm, I was getting fat and then I would start to freak out I'd be looking in the mirror and I'd be like whoa 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 this is too crazy I'd go to the gym I would start eating healthy and I would go crazy until I got to 160 and then things would start to go back down right and so this is how your standards ebbs and flows right your standards ebbs and flows right it goes up and it goes down there's a high standard for yourself and there's a low standard for yourself and you will never go below your low standard of self, right? There's a certain point where you start to panic and you'll make sure you don't go below that point. Everybody has this point. You have this point for your bank account, you have this point for your weight, you have this point for basically like not hitting your marketing KPIs, which is basically like making sure that you're doing daily inputs of lead gen. For example, if your bank account goes down to 5K per month, you're no longer gonna be not you know, hitting these marketing KPIs, you're definitely gonna be hitting them, you're gonna be over hitting them because you're gonna be in a panic to make more money. So as these, these, these things go up and down, other standards start to go up and down and it's like a tree, it's just like one little branch has tons of different nodes and leaves and standards that are attached to lots of different other things. Um, but staying on track here, ebbs and flows, that's a very important thing to know. The second thing is really the opposite of ebbs and flows not really opposite, but this is like the not so great scenario, but this is what you want. This is the better scenario. So 
let's say your bank account gets to $20,000, right? It's the most money you've ever had in your bank account. Great. And then it goes down to about $10,000 and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, this is too low. My bare minimum is $10,000 per month. Then you get up to 20 and you're right at, you're right about to break that new record of like $20,000 right here. You, you want to pass it. You want to make sure you go past that thing and get to like 30 or $40,000 per month. Then you get to 40,000 and you're like, damn, look at this. I got $40,000 in my bank account. That's 20. That's like the most money I've ever had. My new lowest standard for myself is not going to be $10,000 per month. I'm going to raise that standard. I'm going to raise it up to $20,000 per month. All right. So no longer am I going to panic at 10,000. I'm going to panic at 20,000. All right. And then you go, you, you're at 40,000, but you start spending money and you get to that $20,000 per uh, $20,000 in your bank account mark and you start to panic. And hopefully you don't even go there. I, I mean, this is, you shouldn't have to go there, but if you do, if it does go there, you start to panic and you start making money and you get up to 60,000. So you, you pass that, that record of 40 K and you get up to 60 and it's, it goes like this in an upward spiral. Okay. So the thing about the ebbs and flows is it doesn't go up and it, it, it doesn't have an upward spiral. There's a top and there's a bottom and it never goes past that top and it never goes below that bottom. And in, in a very terrible scenario, it would go below the bottom and it would spiral downward. That's the, that's the typical example of a dying agency that's about to go out of business or in debt. Um, and this is an ideal example. Now it's never gonna be like this uh, constantly, there may be points where your bank account actually does go down below the, the low mark or the standard. But if you, if you're at a point where, you know, you got like, let's just say two, $3 million in your bank account and you go down to like, let's just say you got 3 million in your bank account, you go down to like 2 million. It's, there's a certain point where you have enough money and you know, your margins, your business where you can, you know, the, the, the amount that you invest in, into, uh, R and D research and development, it can, you don't really need to set as, you know, as uh, high of low standards. You still should have them, but it changes once you have a lot of money and you got like a huge war chest of wealth. It, it changes, but this is, we're, we're talking primarily for five to six figure agency owners and typically a five to six figure agency uh, is not gonna have two, three, four million dollars cash in the bank account. But moving on, uh, tracking prevents plateaus. Okay, so this is a plateau, right? It, it's a fluctuation within a plateau, right? So this is like the bottom, this is the top. It's just a plateau. You're fluctuating between a high and a low. And if you track your, your standards, right? Your standards for hitting your marketing KPIs, waking up on time, uh, st stopping working, checking your quality of work, you know, um, spending time on social media. If you track all these things, and especially the, the very important ones, such as like hitting your marketing KPI, waking up on time, finishing work early, the amount of hours that you worked, going to the gym. Uh, these are really, really important standards that you have to track. And if you track these things, what you can do is you can become aware of when you start to go down, right? So there's a point where you start to go down and the, do the downward spiral starts to occur. And the moment you see that spiral, this thing start to go down, you, Need to become aware you need to see that and be like whoa 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 nope i'm not going down and you need to stop it and you need to make sure it goes up okay so you need to catch yourself right here when it starts to go down and make sure that it that you catch it so that you can continue to go up and you can break this level that you've never broken before and this is how it happens it's very simple it's really weird how if you want to become aware of it, you can just break it very easily. But for me, like I said, in the first year of running my agency, I, I didn't know this. I wish somebody had told me this, but I didn't find it anywhere. So that's why I'm telling you it now. And tracking, how do you do tracking? Well, I have something called a human dashboard. I've spoken about it in a previous video I did about three videos ago. If you go to my channel on YouTube, you'll see uh, a video called Managing Yourself with a Human Dashboard. This human dashboard tells me very important things such as the time I wake up, the time I go to sleep, the amount of hours I worked uh, per day. And it tells me with trend lines, if I'm trending up or I'm trending down in all these different standards, okay? And I know how much time I spend like just not working, for example, just hanging out with my girlfriend, which is usually typically two to three hours per day. And on Sundays, I don't work at all. So throughout a given day, I'll spend, um, like one full day with her and then two hours per day for six days of the week usually. 
And then it tells me all these different things so that I know when my standards start to drop so that I can pick them back up and break a new uh, all-time high record and make sure that my standards for in every regard of life are constantly going up in this spiral uh, pattern upwards. Because nobody's perfect, like nobody's life is just gonna be a constant linear upward uh, graph like that. It's gonna fluctuate, but you want it to fluctuate up. You don't want it to fluctuate like this where it just goes parallel because this means you're plateaued, all right? So the, the last thing that we're gonna talk about is mentors can see the Grim Reaper inside of you. So if you have a mentor, if you have somebody who you're speaking with on a weekly basis, maybe once or twice a week, once a month really isn't enough. I think you need to speak with somebody once or twice a week, minimum, in order for them to really help you out a lot. And if, if, if this is somebody who is levels ahead of you and they're where you wanna be and they got there organically in a natural way, what, what I mean by that is like, they grew their business or their agency uh, naturally. They didn't screw people over, they didn't do anything like that. And they did it recently so that you know that the information that they're gonna be providing you is, is uh, you know, good information, it's not outdated. For example, if somebody grew their agency 10 years ago to 20 million uh, per year, like they were probably using like radio ads or like TV ads or weird different advertising that is totally irrelevant to today. So that probably wouldn't be the best mentor. But if you find somebody who grew their agency to uh, 10 million per year and they did it in the last three or four years well they likely use like Facebook ads Google ads or different things that apply to your agency and your business so if you can find a mentor who has gotten their agency to where you want to get your agency to and they've done it recently and you're able to speak to them once or twice per week this is somebody who can see the Grim Reaper inside of you and hold you accountable to make sure that you don't drop your standards and you don't get stuck in this terrible uh, ebbs and flow plateau, this, this, this is a terrible place to be. And one of the first things that they'll do, like the, the first and best low hanging fruit that any mentor could give someone is a tracking system to track their standards and track what time they're waking up, what time they're going to sleep, how many hours per day they're working, how many hours per day they're spending on social media and other crap that doesn't fucking matter, how much time they're spending drinking alcohol, going out party, waking up super late, um, you know, how much time they spend reading per day, if they're hitting their marketing KPIs, if they're not checking their quality of work, there's a, they're, 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 they're basically giving you a system that allows you to track all these things. This is why it's one of the most important things uh, in Legion Enlightened, it's called the human dashboard and I walk through it and there's other things, like the human dashboard doesn't talk about marketing KPIs, it talks more uh, about personal standards like waking up on time, how much time you spend uh, working, what time you go to sleep, if you worked out, etc. But there are different sheets in the marketing section um, in Legion and Lighten that talk about tracking your marketing. So find a mentor. If you can't find a mentor, you need to try to build your own tracking system. And if you want to build your own tracking system, I would recommend you check out the human dashboard video I made to, so you can see an example of how, how I've done that, how that's done, and how you can potentially rep replicate it as well. Um, but this thing about mentors is really important. I mean, honestly, when I found the right mentor, my, my, my business, my whole life, it, it just changed. Like I've spent almost $100,000 on courses. I've talked about this publicly. Uh, I posted about it on Facebook. If you wanna see the exact courses I've purchased, you can literally scroll through my Facebook feed and you'll see there's a post I made about a month ago or two months ago where I talked about all the courses I've bought, the price points that they were at. And there's, there's been a couple mentors and people that I've invested in that have really changed my life and honestly it's well worth it to try to find somebody that can do that for you so hopefully you found this video valuable if you liked it feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and um, if you want to learn more about what lead gen enlightened is and how i'm helping five to six figure agency owners to build a lead gen system and automate their agency um, you can check out the link in the description my website is just taylorventure.com there's a case study on my site. You can book a call with me if you like the case study. You want to talk to me about what Legion Enlightened is. Um, and that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe. Definitely comment below. Let me know your thoughts. And I appreciate you checking out this video and learning about the invisible Grim Reaper inside every agency owner's heart. Ciao.